Hey everybody, welcome to Toon TV, I'm your host, Toon Dragon here, standing here. My first guest today, you might think, is a little bit space act. Oh, Michael Myers, you are relentless. He really is the ultimate boogeyman. It's Teddy Melton, co-host of Inner Space on Space Channel, today on Toon TV. <laughs> After holding it in for his five-year mission, Captain Kirk goes where no man's gone before, cannot be seen at this time. Instead, we bring you the following bad choice of viewing. Tomb! Hi! Hey, Teddy Wilson from Space yeah. TV! All right, my old friend. Good to see you again, man. It's Earth AD here. Yeah, to Earth AD. Yeah, you mentioned the Misfits, the Cramps, the yeah. Damned, man. <laughs> what, uh, what, 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 is, what is some music you're listening to? Or, or what is some of the stuff that like shaped you growing up? Uh, oh, shaped me growing up? Yeah. Well, you know, my, my first ever concert was ACDC uh, when I was 11, 88, blow up your video. My second one was uh, Alice Cooper, Raise Your Fist in Ah, uh, jealous. With Motorhead open. Oh, no way. Yeah, no so way. I was very into metal and hair metal, too, yeah. I unapologetically yeah. say. And then I got very into American hardcore punk, so yeah. bands like Black Flag and uh, the Circle Jerks and bands like that. That's I really all the stuff I got into. Yeah. yeah, absolutely, Minor Threat. And then, yeah, now I like a lot of post-punk stuff. I like bands like Pelican and Tortoise yeah. and, and Slint. I really like that type of music. And I'm also actually a big jazz fan. Oh, no. See, that's the one thing I haven't... I, I, I figured, like, when you start liking golf and jazz, yeah. you know you're getting older, right? Yeah. If you find yourself online browsing music or in a CD store which yeah. maybe you still go to as I do and you I, I still I still uh, manage one so oh well, there you go right <laughs> yeah. so if you find yourself getting like a back issue LP of kind of blue by Miles Davis then you're getting old. you know that you've turned a corner yeah yeah hey Ted yes Jim do you prefer to watch movies at the movie theater or on video cassette most of the movies I want to see I have to read on video cassette because they say I'm too young to see them in the movie theater. <laughs> you were on, uh, you can't do that on television? Yeah. No way, that's so, did you get slimed? Uh, oh yeah, I got slimed a lot. The skeletons come out of my closet. Yeah, How yeah. horror appropriate. Oh, nice. Uh, yeah, I did. I, I did that when I was like 11 to 13 in Ottawa. They shot that show in Ottawa and it was just went out as a lark for an audition and got the gig. So it was, it was really interesting. I got slimed a lot. My character was the gross kid. My other move was I would look at the camera, make an ugly face and yeah. the camera would break oh, which was yeah, great yeah. for my 12 year old ego oh no yeah that's that's got to help you get girls i hope i washed off the last of that stupid makeup <laughs> <laughs> And getting like fake farting and getting yeah. barf dumped yeah. on you. Yeah, yeah. it was uh, pretty glamorous. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's so cool. Because we, as Canadians, we all we all have a special affinity towards that show. Yeah, you know, I, I remember being a kid watching it, and that along with like the hilarious House of Frightenstein, yes. and being like, there's something about these shows. They're made by adults who get the way kids think, as opposed to pandering to them. Yeah. And uh, I was a big fan of it before and after I was on it too. Uh, thanks, Chris. Yeah. Must have been really hard for you to think of a way to tell me it. Oh, I don't know. It wasn't that hard. It's just that I... What's the new show? Yeah, don't try this at home. I never ever do this. At never home. ever do this at home. It looks so cool. It is ridiculous. It's basically uh, two dangerously unqualified dudes, myself and my comedian co-host Norm Sousa, set loose in a house to take all of the childhood warnings we all heard growing up and continue to hear to their logical extremes. So everything from you know we start a grease fire, we create a walk-in <laughs> microwave oven, we create a sunroof with thermite, and ultimately we blow up the whole house. So it's a it's a cautionary show, yes. uh, but it was a lot of fun to make. You have the show that every 12-year-old kid wishes they could grow up to have. Well, that's what I say. Like, I was excited making it and terrified, but my inner 12-year-old was like, Yeah! Ah, I get to blow stuff up, man! Yeah! Ah, I get to blow stuff up, man! Yeah! Ah, I get to blow stuff up, man! Yeah! Ah, I get to blow stuff up, man! Yeah! Ah, I get to blow stuff up, man! Yeah! Ah, I get to blow stuff up! YouTube slash Tomb Dragomir, Tomb TV. Shout out. Am I glad you got slimed, you little wimp? You could have had the bike, Chris's job, everything. But no, you didn't have the guts to. I don't know why I waste my time. Oh. That's fun. Right on. Teddy, thank you so much for talking. You, Always good to fuck yeah, with you. Yeah, you too. Hey, Tomb. Yeah, Tomb? I'm having a party tonight. Everyone's invited. Wolfman, Frankenstein, the mummy. But I don't want them tracking mud through my nice new castle. Whatever is a guy to do. Monster Matt. <laughs> Funny man, Monster Matt Patterson. He's the author of Ha Ha Horror. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Tomb. Roger, 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 Roger.
this is my boy right here, Monster Matt Patterson. Tomb TV. Tomb TV. Chest bump. You're on the radio now. Yep. Um, with uh, my buddy Strange Jason and yours. Absolutely. Uh, so tell us a bit about uh, what you do on the Six Foot Plus podcast. Well, sir, it all started when I was a little monster. No, I don't know. <laughs> it's uh, yeah. We it's a, it's going to be a three minute interview, Matt. <laughs> it's like a, a you know snowball rolling downhill, right? Chest bump. I pop up and tell bad monster jokes, and hopefully I entertain you people. I hope to uh, elicit some groans and laughs and things like that, and hope you enjoy it. Yes, tell us about Ha Ha Horror. It's, it's extravagant. It's exhilarating. It's, it causes hives. I don't know. <laughs> hopefully, uh, yeah. <laughs> Hey, hey, come on! Oh, yes. They all love Monster Matt. The people have got to represent. <laughs> Chest bump! What Edgar Allan Poe film has Vincent Price getting a crypt for his wife at a Swedish retailer? I don't know which Edgar Allan Poe film has Vincent Price getting a crypt for his wife from a Swedish retailer. Tomb of Ikea! <laughs> <laughs> Is this your first time up to Toronto? And probably not if you're from Buffalo. It's kind of right, right across the border there. Well, usually I came up for Maple Leaf games against Vancouver Canucks. Ah, uh, Canucks fan, eh? Yeah, absolutely. I know you're a Devils, a fan. Devils fan. No, I know. Yeah. The Devils! This is my first time back here in three or four years, and I've really missed it. This is a great, 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 great time. Chest bump! Monster Matt Patterson, Tomb Dragomir, Worlds Collide at the Festival of Fear this year. Stay tuned! <laughs> How's that? Yeah. Thanks for tuning in to Toon TV, everybody. I've been your host, Toon Dragomir. Fresh out of time. I gotta run. I mean, what are you gonna do? I don't know. <laughs>